Traders, welcome back to another Relentless Recap. As you guys are tuning in, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And of course, if you are a new viewer, consider subscribing to the lovely channel. Guys, before we jump into it, remember the risks of trading. Remember the risks. Remember that trading is not easy. It never was. It never will be. Remember to take it slow as you approach the markets. Utilize paper trading, aka the simulator. Utilize risk money. Take it slow. It takes time to build experience. It takes time to become competent. Now, with that being said, be careful about the fake, uh, the fakes and the impersonators and scammers that are out there. People pretending to be me. Watch out. I do not use WhatsApp, Telegram. I do not do mirror trading, copy trading. Be very careful with those topics out there, guys. Be very careful with these weird characters. These guys are fraudulent. Uh, so watch out, stay safe. Other than that, remember that the live streams and recaps are not an invitation to copy trade. Copy trading is never good. So be very careful out there, guys. You want to take it slow. You want to take your time as you learn, grow, and become better. Now, with that being said, let's jump into the recap here today. I was checking out the chat. It looks like most of our members today did well, which is excellent to see, right? Shout out to the Discord. You guys can check that out. Links down below so relentless how were you able to get yourself up to 800 bucks today how were you able to do it guys within one hour of trading we got ourselves up to 800 bucks and well and it started off with stock asti and inm these were some of the two crazy stocks that uh gave opportunities today so stock i and m you know i actually started off the day on this one up 200 bucks and i do want to show you guys uh this trade and i want to talk a little bit about technical difficulties and how it can influence you into making decisions yesterday i had issues getting in and not being able to sell today you know i'm going to get a different issue and this one it's going to be with my level two. So look at this right here, right? Right hand side of the screen. Watch it stock INM. And so this thing is about to get ready to take off here over the high of 70. And so I'm going to see that. I'm going to see buyers getting in. I'm going to jump in myself. And, you know, look at how my level two, you know, has a hard time kind of showing the proper data. All right. I'm in, and we're going to get a push up to 80. But look at my level 2 at this, at this time point in time, right? So the ask is starting to, well, not rather the ask. The bid is starting to build here with big bids. There's a ton of red going through. But what I don't realize is that we're already in the halt level here going up. And, you know, I look over at the ask price. You know, I saw 77. I, you know, I'm thinking red is hitting the tape. Okay, let me just take the quick profits. Rather than, you know, this thing updating correctly, this is what it should have been showing me the entire time. And more than likely, I think I would have held this trade into the halt. But because of what happened and how it played out, I'm out. And, you know, if you guys watch it back, literally in this moment, I'm saying, oh, I probably should have held that. So I, I did want to mention that it's a little disappointing to not be able to, you know, get the trade freely. You know, that's all we want to do. So, you know, whether it's frustration, emotions or technical difficulties. These are things we have to try and combat as best as we can. You know, we're getting the best equipment, best, best platforms, best brokers, and best state of mind. So it is a little disappointing at times when these things happen. But, you know, we got to roll with the punches. Resumption comes around, and we don't do that great. You know, we sized up a little bit. We were looking forward to the opportunity here. But we ended up getting some red trades. So, you know, this thing opens up and I'm a little, I'm a little too hasty here, right? It opens up and we, we essentially open up a little bit higher, 92. It pushes up here to 98 and I should have been more patient to wait for this pullback, man. Right there, right there, I thought we were going to hold 94 and rip over the new halt level or rip over two to the new halt level. In that moment, we're coming down a bit. I think I should have given it a little bit more time. So I have to cut the trade, take the loss. The dip there at 85 ended up working out splendidly. And this thing curled back up. Now, what I could have done was get back in. 
But, you know, a lot of times I'm skeptical and make sure we're not just selling off. And we're back in, at 2. It pushes up there to 202. We got a small pullback somewhere here. And this is where I'm able to get in uh, on I and M. So that's going to at least bring me back to flat, right? So right here, well, it, we kind of held, more so held, holding high rather than pulling back. I thought this entry came at 93 or something, but it looks like it held high. And now can we chase down the halt level? There it is, 08. And I'm selling up there. So, you know, this stock ended up being, you know, this, 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 that'll be all the archive we show today, right? Uh, but yeah, that ended up being a bit of a tricky area for me. Green to flat, well, green to red to, you know, small green again. This thing ended up pulling back down here to, to 82 and curled up to 99. Um, and from there, it had a hard time. It really had a hard time from there, selling off throughout the rest of the day. So L, uh, I and M, not great. Now, L, I, A, N. This is a stock I should have done better on. And maybe it'll be in play tomorrow. But I should have done better on this stock. So it was called out. And we have this on the watch list too. Uh, you know, it was bouncing up nicely here off these lows. And right here is where I really got involved. You know, so we had 44. You know, this was a great trade for me recognizing for the three wire play that short sellers were trying to watch this thing but buyers just kept kept coming in and you know we ended up pushing over 50 to 58 right here 180 bucks if i made 180 dollars and this is with small size right here right just in this small area there you know when you zoom out you'd like to think yeah you know relentless trader more than likely was able to make five ten times that amount Maybe he's up 1K after, you know, starting off so nicely there. That's what should have happened. You know, but I was off my game just by a little bit. And the fine line is what got me. So, you know, we pushed up nicely. I'm doing all right. And we started to get this pullback here. And I ended up buying for the one minute dip initially, thinking uh, another three bar play might happen. Kept it really tight. Good job. Ended up buying back lower at 59 and thinking that was the bottom and getting stopped out here coming down you know disappointing man disappointing and right there you know I, I was kind of a little you know off my game not sure where we should pull back in terms of you know the lows and you can see as clear as day looking back at it vwap is right there at 48 i think i did take an entry down there at one point but did not hold it long enough um but yeah, clear as day looking back at this thing, I needed to be loading up all here and holding for a few minutes to try and get the smooth back up with tight stops below the level. Because this ended up going up nicely. And right here when we had the pull away, we didn't really get a dip. And this, you know, again, another thing that was tricky about this stock, pushed all the way to 78. And then again, big drop, 53. You know, this pullback, you know, in this particular area, I did not expect to see low 50s again. And same thing, once it starts to go, you know, you got to really be well positioned on the low if you want to hold longer. If not, you got to scalp. And this one was a little slower moving on the way up. Good pullback there, but tight. You know, again, if you're, if, if you're not willing to be aggressive in this area to at least buy back high if you're expecting a bigger drop you could miss that pullback and that's what happened to me but this thing was a nice stock man you know we pushed up to 85 pulled back right here to 70. a little too much hesitation and me not being quite on my game you know after messing up these two pullbacks here uh we could have done better man we could have done far better on this thing this was lovely price action overall and, you know, it, it kept going. 320. High consolidation here. We got up to 26. And then 37. It pulled back. A bit of a bear flag. False breakout. But what was good about this? And this is where I left. I, right, I left right here. And I did think about this. But you know what? I, I felt like I was over trading on the other stock. You know what? I'll be out here. The other one had sold off at the time. Um, but you know, looking back again, you know, this, this was a potential opportunity, double bottom 95 and you know, ABCD in full effect, right? We ended up having the W 
and you know oh we're trying double bottom or higher lows potentially curls up nicely so i missed all of this sweet action here going up nice pull back in there and uh it kept going overall pretty good stuff on l-i-a-n from there we had a range and some of you guys love the range right you know the key is, is is of course positioning being in low selling a little higher you know nice bounce there bottoming wick it ended up curling up but didn't quite break the highs the low side of the range again held up bouncing back up again low side of the range held up bouncing back up and some people probably sat there all day watching this stuff and, and, and did all right. And that's great. You know, right here, it broke down and you went right back through the level. So that's a good sign holding up the low of the range and VWAP. So good to see. And this one, I think might be in play tomorrow. Other than that, we had uh, ASTI. This is the one that I really did the best on. You know, initially starting off here, very low around 50 eight with about three thousand shares i'm in immediately flushes down like whoa what's going on with this thing gave it a sec it pushed up nicely and you know didn't really get to capitalize in this move up man again trying here and just getting chopped out but from there you know we ended up dipping down 66 pushed up to a high 78 bigger pull back here and let's make sure to get the five minute candles stick some love dipping down here we ended up curling up, but you can see it looks better on the five minute as we ended up having a three bar play there and breaking over VWAP over 75, getting all the way to 91. We did capture this dip flawlessly, bought this bottom very nicely, selling a little bit on the pop, and this thing ended up continuing up to 88. So really good right there. In this particular area, we attempted a few entries for the new high. It didn't go right away it pulled back to a low 78 and then we ripped so a low 73 i did buy down here again and this thing ended up ripping up to 92 and then a high of 98 i thought we might have continued so i was up 900 dollars right here and you know after seeing this bottoming wick again i thought the new high was going to come i thought okay we're gonna eventually get a candlestick to make the new high and then big green candle again maybe something like this got too aggressive immediately gave back 400 bucks in this area here very avoidable if i'm to just tone it down and just be a little bit more patient big red to green there but didn't lead to anything besides a sell-off that and guys that was the day so you know a couple of stocks 800 bucks quick quick and clean one hour in and out you know right now we're just looking to get green and can we string together a good couple of green days uh, you know, that, that, that's the goal right now. Right? It hasn't really been a great month for me by any means. But, you know, if we can pick ourselves up right now and get back to where we need to be and more, you know, we can see a great end of the year, right? Closing out the last quarter on the strong side. So be sure to hit that thumbs up as your favorite YouTuber, Relentless, is showing it all. And so for those of you who do check out the classes, you guys will have access to this archive here, not only just mine, but also you know let's check out the discord right you know, you know you'll not only have access to this archive here and this is just one archive from today we have all the all every day is being recorded right i have multiple monitors this monitor up here is being recorded at all times to upload to the classes so that the students can see exactly where i'm buying where i'm selling and why with my thought process you know when we come back over here to the discord uh you know you guys will be able to see two other members archives as well including Marcelo, who is up $2,700 today, the other mentor here in the community, right? So let's hit some emojis there. And then the other mentor, Tim. Where's Tim? Where's Tim? Tim is right here. 1800 bucks today, guys. So you get to see three perspectives. You get to see three different perspectives. Those are for our gold students. But for anybody else who just want to check out the Tim's archive, you can do that separately. Right. Let's pull up the course website here. Let's right. Let's let's show you guys uh, the lay of the land. The lay of the land. So when you guys come down to merciless markets, you guys will see all the different tiers we have here, including the Discord, of course. Uh, you have silver, 
which is a one-time purchase and one month free of chat room access. This is for the people who are a little newer to the community. You know, if they just want the course, they just want the access to the chat, they can go ahead and check out Silver. Anybody else who, you know, was a fan of Tim and want to just check out Tim exclusively to see how he's getting it done, you can check out Tim and gain access to the chat room. Everything that you see here has the check mark, of course. And for those of you who want everything, you guys can become a gold member either for one year or for three months, depending on where you are, your experience, and you know how much you want to be a part of the community. Some of you guys might already have some experience, and so you might say, hey, you know what, man? Three months is all I want to hang out with these guys every day in the Discord and to be able to get mentorship and all these things. You know, I feel like I'm right there. Other people, they might say, hey, I want to go all the way. I'm going to go for one year, full unlimited access. So guys, check it out. You can check out the curriculum. And of course, this is not the curriculum right here. Or let's say rather, the curriculum is not this short, right? If you hit this down arrow, it will extend. And of course, you can then scroll all the way down, check out all the chapters and everything we have to offer. Yes, it might seem overwhelming, but it's not, right? It's organized in a very smooth way and it's easy to digest. So as you go, you pace yourself, maybe a class a day, two classes a day, whatever your availability is. And as you go through, you know, you learn, uh, you know, you learn everything, right? Do we guarantee success? The answer is no, you can't guarantee nothing in life. You know, we don't even know if we'll show up here tomorrow, knock on wood, because that, that would suck. But yeah, you know, it, it's one of those things where there is risk and the risk is real. And there are factors such as our own emotions. But if we can stay disciplined, if we can stay disciplined, if we can stay focused and follow the strategy, there's a good chance that we can prevail. All right, guys. So with that being said, hit that thumbs up as your boy Relentless is signing out. I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe, stay green. Peace. Bright and early again tomorrow.